if someone, a vet, a friend, anyone in your life has told you that your pet is suffering and needs to be euthanized, you need to stop for a minute and think this through. My name is Kodandi and this is the Third Eye Awake channel and I want to give you more time with your precious beloved pets at this very sensitive and important time during their life. And I want to make sure that you aren't pressured into something that you're going to regret because this is a very emotional situation. This video comes out of a video that I made earlier that unexpectedly got very popular if you're interested in seeing it. Maybe you've already seen it, but the link is in the description to this video. But I was talking with a friend who recently had an experience where she took her cat to the vet and the vet was like, let's euthanize your cat. And so she asked, of course, is my cat in pain? And the vet said, no, but I can see that your cat is suffering. And, and the key here is this idea of suffering. Because that's sort of what people think they need to base their decision on that the animal is suffering, that we need to end the suffering, that euthanasia is this mercy, compassion, kindness to end this suffering that the vet is perceiving, that we you know, feel that the vet is a professional and can perceive or measure this suffering in some way, and that we are convinced that this suffering is happening but let let's get very specific here because this is a very emotional thing and we see that our animal is at the end of life and their body is changing their behavior is changing maybe they're not eating maybe they've lost a lot of weight maybe they can't walk anymore their life is not what it used to be but are they suffering what specifically is suffering? How can we know what suffering is? Can suffering be measured? Can the animal and has the animal actually communicated suffering to us? Do you honestly trust the vet to know your beloved pet that you have spent how many years, 15 years, 10 years of your life with every single day? And they've seen the animal how many times? You have this close personal relationship with your pet. You know the animal's moods. You know the animal's behavior. You know your, your puppy, your kitty, your baby, your precious, your darling. You know what they are like. How can you trust this vet to decide that for you? How can you trust your vet to decide that for your pet? I'm gesturing over here because my dog is sitting over here. I don't know if he's going to appear on camera. He's, he's definitely not suffering. He's laying on top of all my pillows. What people are perceiving when they say that they are perceiving suffering is their own internal projection. They are seeing their own discomfort with the changes that are happening at the end of life. They are perceiving their own fear of death. Vets in particular, but other people as well, are coming up with these stories about how euthanasia, euthanasia is a good death. It is a kindness, it is mercy and compassion that people and professionals and vets have convinced themselves that ending another being's life out of the natural order of things, taking away the precious end of life moments, the last chance for them to say their goodbyes, taking that away, doing it on a schedule, that that is somehow 
kindness, compassion, and mercy. It is not. The dying process is not suffering. And if you have never seen another person die, if you have never seen an elder die, if you have never been with a dying person in your family, if you have never had another pet die, which is very common in the West and especially in, in the United States, it, it's weird and it's scary and it's emotional and it's difficult. Now, it's, it's emotionally a lot of work and it is physically a lot of work. It is very draining. I will say that having done it multiple times for multiple people and multiple pets, but it is the most precious time that you have with your loved ones, whether they are human or whether they are your pets because it is a sacred time and it is the last chance that you have with them. Euthanasia is not love. Euthanasia is ending their access to you, to this world, and it is ending their own spiritual dying process. If you decide not to euthanize your pet, please leave a comment Come back here, leave a comment, and encourage others. Tell your story. Tell your story of allowing your pet a natural dying process. Let me know and help others to make the same decision.